Hey guys, Natasha or Ethel Joe. Um, I am hooked on Book in Maine, and this is the reason why I'm hooked on Book in Maine. I guess I'm finding some new amazing books that are going to come out or going to get released or in the works of being released. But what I'm really having fun with is I'm finding older books that were written like a year, two, three years ago, and I'm devouring them. And I'm finding them some, yes, authors that I, um, I've read before and I've kind of stalkery. And, um, but I'm also finding some new ones too. And so Book of Maine has really opened my eyes as a vlogger to some older books that I've never read before and I never vlogged before. So I'm kind of really enjoying this, this platform. So I found a book that Kale Grayson co-wrote back in 2015 and she put this morsel out there, this little bite for us to read. And I had to buy the book and then I had to buy the audio because I'm traveling a lot for work. I thought, you know, I need to break up the white noise. And so I had an audio book. And she co-wrote this with B.T. Urella. So B.T., I do apologize if I butcher your name. I mean, I do apologize. So this is Lover's um, Lament. And Lover's Lament is a second chance romance. It's the military, but it's really kind of um, two souls that are finally healing each other over some, some really emotional baggage and shit that has happened to them. And Katie and... Devin have been um, their high school sweethearts. They have everything and Katie thinks her world is is the best right now because her Devin's in her life and he has to leave and it's breaking his heart but he kind of makes a choice for her and he leaves quicker than normal and Katie is just she's pissed she's heartbroken and she really has to get over it and it takes her a long time 10 years from now the book jumps to 10 years and something tragic happens in Katie's life and she really needs to kind of heal for it. So her psychologist kind of recommends her to write to um, the soldiers program to kind of get over some of her hatred, her hate, her grief to the tragedy that happened. Not to the soldiers that she's writing to, but to the actual, the, the emotions that she's lost. And she's going through the names and she stumbles across her long lost love, Devin. And she just said, maybe fate, this is fate. It's coming together. It's bringing us together. So she pours her emotions to him. He gets the letter, but that letter does more for him than her. It kind of gives him a chance to pour his emotions and finally kind of have some love that he's kind of love and lost. He's missed Katie and this is their chance to kind of both heal. And these two go through this kind of healing time of writing, talking, FaceTiming, and there's a really good um, video chat moment in the book that kind of had me laughing in my car. So I do apologize to anyone driving I-84 and they saw me hysterically laughing because it was pretty funny, um, beautifully written in my opinion. But it's one of those things that these two kind of go through this healing process um, of what they're both going through. Two separate things going on in their life, but they're needing each other to get over some of their emotions um, and throughout the book. And then some tragedy happens again, and these two really kind of heal each other. And I think that's why this book is so beautiful sexy and raw is because these two both are long lost souls they kind of heal their souls they patch their hearts and they really kind of move forward in a life that is the best for them because they really have their long lost love and the connection that they have instantly even though it may be through um, FaceTiming or Skyping in words these two really do have a connection and I think that's what is so amazing about this book is there's a lot of meaning behind it but there is um, a saying and I think other people have had the same saying before back two years ago when this book released but remember I'm a newbie to this book and I had it highlighted and then I see that some other people have had it highlighted too for the first time it hits me I miss him I miss our friendship the connection that we shared I miss being able to talk to him without being judged and I miss the way he used to support me without swaying any of my thoughts or actions and that's kind of just these two she misses him but he misses her just as much you can almost switch the words around for 
him to her and that's what it just really it that's what I really love about this story so guys it's in the links I highly recommend it not just the reading the book but the audio is just as phenomenal um, so guys Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah Happy New Year's get the book it's in the links and if not follow me on YouTube or Facebook talk to you later